हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द क्लब नेटवर्क आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अबाउट द डिजिटल लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ अबाउट द जीएनयू लिनक्स ऑन वर्चुअल बॉक्स यू कैन आल्सो इंस्टॉल दिस एबीएन 8.8.30 इन योर वीएमवेयर वर्कस्टेशन एंड हाइपर वी आल्सो सेम मेथड द सेम प्रोसीजर यू नीड टू फॉलो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू एंड there is every steps and command you can find these uh, download links available in the description box below to my video so minimum requirement for this for the download is you need to have one gb processor or dual core processor you need to have one gb of ram and to be gb of this space so you can have a graphic card display card should be 1024276 whether you can install with this dd or usb port this installation and the link you can find about this Download about the DB. You can download from this link, and the size is one six twenty seven MB. The size. So open the Google and type the virtual box. You need to click on the download link, so it will come directly on the page of download. So for the Windows supported, you need to click here and download. It will start automatically for your supported which is thirty two bit or sixty four bit, which your operating system is the thirty two bit or sixty four bit. It will automatically detect and it will be down automatically start downloading. So this for is OS Linux Mint supported. Once you download it, you want to find how to install the virtual box. There is a video which I have made on my channel. You can find this on the cloud network. Install and download this virtual box. This is 5.0. Uh, and this one is your. You can find this link in the below to my video description box, which you can find. And uh, once you open the Google and type the details on the page, you can see this is your. Installation which is having the latest version 8.3 is updated and you can install 32 bit and 64 bit supported. So for the download people here you need to come and click on this this one link. On the screen you can see download Debian 8.3. So click on this link it will be start automatic downloading. So open the virtual box, click on new and you need to give a name provide the Debian name. Version. You need to select your or the 64 bit Debian. You need to select here on the screen. You can see. And uh, if you did not get this about the 32 bit and 64 bit option here, so you can find a video about this how to get this 64 and 32 bit option. So on the screen you can see here is my video. So you can find in the Cloudnet channel and this link will be available in the description box also. If you watch this video. You will get a 64 bit option here on the screen. If you are showing getting a 32 bit all the year means if you want to get the 64 bit option, just watch this video and get this uh, uh, 64 bit uh, option in your computer or laptop. So after that, click the version, click next, assign the RAM according to the green. Next, then click next, the next. Next, uh, give the size of this one. I'm giving 25 GB. Okay, the maximum. And this is the location which where it is going to store in your computer or laptop. So just now change the location. You need to create now. That you need to go to the settings. Click on the system. Uncheck floppy, and go to the process. Check this box and check this box also. After that, you to go to storage, click on MD, click on the small icon, choose the ISO image where you have downloaded this Debian. After assigning the ISO image, go to the network and just click the bridge adapter. Okay. After that, don't you don't need to you do not do anything here. Select the bridge adapter, click OK, click the settings, then click to start the power on. So on the screen you can see. This is the menu. If you want to install the Debian, select in select the install and press enter. If you want to install the graphical installation, you need to select this Debian and advanced option here is where you can find install with the speech internet. That means it will be having this uh, audio installation. So just selecting this graphical installation and press enter. So on the screen you can see you need to select a language. 
which language you belongs to which language you know you have to select the language in the continue and you have to select your location where you country which country you belongs to after that click continue and you have to select the keyboard language also after you have to select continue and it's detecting the partition here here are the some important things you know to uh, do before the installations if you are installing laptop or desktop or surveys you need to take a backup of data if you have a data in your computer means just take a backup of completely data then go ahead with this installations any operation if you are installing just take a backup and then proceed with the installations otherwise it will completely format your uh, this data so before you continue session asking to on the network please enter the host name of the systems so you can i am giving the cloud here then click on continue here and we need to give the domain name so my domain name that i am www dot out network dot in you can skip this also just click on continue again you need to give the root password for this installation so please remember this root password which you are giving and give a strong password for this root root and just remember the password for the root okay and then click to continue now and the setup username i'm giving the full username that means i am giving the cloud network and then is a username which is going to be user account for the user new user cloud i'm giving the password password here and confirm the same password here remember the password then click to continue after that <coughs> you need to select the <coughs> time zone so according to your preference you need to select the time zone and click to continue it will be automatically also you can detect then it's we came on the main part of this installation the so partition disk so if you want to go with this uh, uh, automatic installations you can select the partitions and then proceed before selecting the partition you need to take a backup of data we previously have tell show tell you and if you want to do manual installation you need to select the manual you need to uh, give the partitions manually like slash home slash uh, usr slash boot slash home so every partition you need to give manual automatically it will create if you select this uh, first partition so it is there it's the size which are given this 20 degree easily click and it's creating two partitions so you can see that Partitions, home, bath, slash partition skeleton. So click to continue, and now it's take. So here you can see two partition has been created. Extension four and swap. The two partition has been created. Uh, if you want to do changes, you can select this one and go for this under the partitions. So finishing the partition will have to this. That means after checking this uh, option, you will not go back to this. Uh, you you cannot change this here. So it will install completely. You need to i want to proceed this one now right to the this changes yes continue with this one now is uh, formatting the partitions now it will take your into 20 minutes depending on internet and other speed about your system so till then you can have a coffee or cup to come after that i will, I will show you the so on the screen you can see the inspection has been completed so just we need to click on and it's going to be reboot after that we'll be having welcome screen